I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. Playing chicken with gay marriage. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Chick-fil-A is a fast food chain headed up by a religious man named Dan Cathy. He believes that marriage should be exclusively between a man and a woman and has stated that publicly. I think we're inviting God's judgment on our nation when we shake our fist at him and say, you know, we know better than you as to what constitutes a marriage. And uh, I pray God's mercy on our generation that has such a, a prideful, arrogant attitude to think that we would have the audacity to try to redefine what marriage is all about. Well, in response, a culture battle has broken out. The mayors of Boston, Chicago, and San Francisco are saying they don't want Chick-fil-A restaurants in their cities. They can't stop them, but the rhetoric makes it difficult for a public business to operate in safety. In fact, San Francisco Mayor Ed Lee said on Twitter, quote, closest Chick-fil-A is 40 miles away, and I strongly recommend they not try to come any closer. Well, that sounds like a threat, does it not? Former Arkansas governor and current Fox News host Mike Huckabee is leading a campaign to have folks buy stuff at the restaurants to counter the anti-Chick-fil-A movement. Obviously, the issue of gay marriage continues to divide Americans, and now the Democratic Party has made it part of their convention platform, calling for legalized gay marriage nationwide. The Democrats will convene in Charlotte, North Carolina, a state that voted down gay marriage in May. But no matter how you feel about the issue, respect should be brought to the debate. Mr. Cathy is entitled to his opinion, and his company is entitled to donate money to promote keeping traditional marriage as the legal standard. Mayors Menino, Emanuel, and Lee are also entitled to state their pro-gay marriage opinions, but they do the country a disservice by trying to harm Mr. Cathy's business. Organized economic retaliation is not what America is all about. If you don't like Dan Cathy, don't buy his product. Talking Points is fine with that. But to pressure others to think like you is wrong. The free marketplace should be just that. Both products and ideas should be openly displayed without threats of any kind. But today, the haters and exploiters have center stage, and they are doing damage to the nation. Nobody forces anybody to buy chicken. A company wants to sell chicken in Boston or Chicago or San Francisco. No pinheaded politician should be trying to hurt that business because they disagree with the politics of management. Marriage is not a civil right. And until the Supreme Court rules that it is, which is doubtful, no bias charge is valid. People of good conscience stand on both sides of the issue, and their opinions should be respected. And that's a memo. Now for the top story tonight, reaction. Joining us from Washington, Michelle Fields, reporter for the Daily Caller website. And here in New York, Dave Rubin, radio talk show host Guy on Sirius XM. And you say? Well, first off, happy National Chick-fil-A Appreciation Day to you, Bill. It's uh, another important day that has been brought to us by our politicians making a lot out of nothing, is what I first well, said. Well, it's not nothing when you got uh, three big city mayors saying they don't want this uh, restaurant concern in their city, so why isn't it valid for the other side to say, hey, we're going to help them out by buying their stuff today? Well, first off, uh, you know, I'm a comedian, so on, on the base of this, I believe in free speech, and I believe that Dan Cathy is welcome to say right. what he wants, okay. and I believe that the gay community at the same point is welcome to say what they want. So if they want to jump on social media, if they want to No problem with the gay community opposing Mr. Cathy's point of view. So problem is public policy, these guys threatening the company. So there are issues related to the mayors in these towns. So in Philadelphia and Boston, if those mayors want to put their butts on the line and say, I do not want Chick-fil-A here, I actually honor them for having a stand. I mean, oh, that's what on, we want Scott. all the time. You isn't that what we that want? Kind of, you well, honor but that kind that of fascism? No, that, I don't want fascism. But don't you want politicians who say what they believe? So no. if they believe, <laughs> if they believe this, hey. they're taking the risk. Hey. No. Mao Zedong said what he believed. Joseph Stalin said what he believed. Do I want politicians saying crazy fascist stuff? I don't know. Hey, hey, let me on break that this comparison to you, Dave. with you. It's fascism for these guys to say, you can't come into my town if I disagree with your political view. That's fascism. Well, first off, what they're saying is that they don't want them there. In no, terms no, of, no, in terms of Boston, said, in terms of Boston, well, that's Manino, right. Chicago's yeah, Manino a said we're, we're not going to let you in here. And Lee said, you better not come here. Well, Chicago's a different situation. And I, and I, you know, to Emmanuel, discuss Chicago politics would be would be he, a whole other segment. But the the Philly and Boston situation, I give those guys credit for at least taking a stand. They're not. They can't stop. Right. Well, then you have they to give crazy politicians all over the world 
credit for taking a stand, like Ahmadinejad takes a stand. He wants to kill all the Jews. Oh, hey, that's an honest opinion on his part. Let's give him some credit. Come I on, mean, think I, I about think it. I think it was all right, Michelle, go. There. Look, politicians don't get to decide which opinions are appropriate and then use the, the power of the state to enforce those. Economic coercion is no way to try to convince someone to believe in certain values or certain beliefs. If anything, these politicians, if they had common sense, would be begging Chick-fil-A to be opening restaurants in their area so that their constituents can have jobs since we have over 8% unemployment right now. That should be the focus, right, employment, okay, the look, economy. Look, Michelle. These guys have a right to play to their constituency, all right? Menino, Emmanuel Lee, they're liberal guys. I mean, Menino's not a crazy, you know, he, he's not, but it, they, he plays, they play to that. This is all posture, gamesmanship. So we yeah, know why have... they're doing what they do, and they have a right to do that, by the way. These three well, mayors have, have a right to say, to say that I'm not going to a... buy, I'm not going to buy their chicken because I don't like the way they stand. Look, if George Soros opens a business, whatever he's selling, I'm not going to buy because I don't like his point of view and I don't want to lie in his pockets. So I, I'm completely, completely okay with any American saying, I buy this Chick-fil-A stuff. But if a politician is saying that they're not going to grant a permit to that business that's, simply that's because fascism. of one employee. Uh, that's fascism right there, fascism. One employee's, um, one employee's opinion, that's not fair. Chick-fil-A employs thousands and thousands okay. of people. You're not wait, hurting wait, wait. the CEO. Right, you are now, hurting the little people. Here's what I want now. I want the mayors of Boston, San Francisco, and Chicago to boycott African Americans. You know why? Roll the tape. The time has come for a broad base assault against the powers that be that want to change our culture to one of men marrying men and women marrying women. For the president to bow to the money as Judas did mm -hmm. with Jesus Christ is a disgrace and we are ashamed. All right, now I bet you a thousand dollars you're not going to hear a word out of Menino or Emmanuel or Lee based upon that reverence point of view. Well, actually, Bill, I'm glad that you brought that clip into the fray right. here because if this issue was about a owner of a chain who was against black people or against Jewish people, do you think Sarah Palin would go out of her uh, way to Sarah show, Palin to show that, up at the restaurant look, Dave, and take a picture there? What the Reverend just said and what Dan Cathy just said are exactly the same. Exactly. Okay? But you're not going to hear Menino and you're not going to hear Emmanuel or Lee say anything about that Reverend at all, ever. Well, I, I can't, spe I can't speak for them. Because they're African American wait, and wait, they wait, need wait, their Michelle, votes. Wait, 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 Michelle. I, I, can't, I can't speak for them, but I think it's very obvious that people like Mike Huckabee and Rick Santorum and Sarah Palin are clearly using this as a wedge, wedge issue that it's been used many okay. times. What do you think many of that times reverend saying what he just said? I, I can't tell a reverend what to say or what to well, believe. Can you ban and the I, reverend from coming in to speak? Wait, Michelle, wait. Can you ban a reverend from coming in? I, I didn't say I was for the ban in the beginning. I, I, when right. we began this discussion, I believe that, they, that those politicians are allowed Michelle to say what to they believe. Michelle, Go ahead, Michelle. No, it, it's, he's saying that he can't tell a reverend what to say or what not to say, but when it comes to an owner of a restaurant, then certainly we can coerce them into believing in something. I'm That's not how telling him what to think. say. No, he, but, but look, economic it, it, this coercion, is a double standard. Come on. You're this basically is a double standard. coercing He's him. putting money against gay marriage, he marriage being, equality. The, the Dan Cathy. Right, right. Right. So he's using economic coercion of his own. No, he's not. It's his money. It's his money, but where does he make his money? Well, he makes his money selling chicken sandwiches. So, don't so buy it. I, I completely agree. So and don't I, buy it. I, I don't he buy it. He has a perfect right to do whatever he wants with his money, unless but it's illegal. Lost, he he absolutely does. And the gay this. community and everyone right. that's an ally of the gay community has a right to not uh, eat his All chicken, right. which is probably the healthiest thing you could do. Good debate. Thank you both. Next on the rundown, new polls is Florida.